Hello everyone, uh, this is game uh, 25 of our series and when in the closed Sicilian we are looking at this opening from the white perspective this game is uh, part of a large playlist which is conveniently uh, put together for you so if you're interested in studying in this opening feel free to start at uh, game one and uh, look at all the different variations and uh, it will definitely help you in this opening it's a great opening to avoid uh, long theory, uh, especially in the night off in uh, dragon variations of the Sicilian. But let me just warn you, there is no theoretical edge coming out of the opening is white. But uh, you can basically Magnus Carlson your opponents, as I like to say, get a solid uh, middle game going forward. And, uh, you know, with some clear uh, goals and strategies in mind. Uh, you will have opportunities uh, in the middle game and ending uh, to defeat your opponent. And that's basically all you can ask for nowadays uh, out of a chess opening. Uh, this game is from the Dubai Olympiad in 1986. And it's between Boris Baski, former world champion, with the white pieces, and Stefan Kinderman with the black pieces. And we are continuing... Uh, looking at systems where white plays knight g to e2 so this game began as a closed sicilian as you can see after d6 g3 was played by boris knight c6 bishop g2 g6 d3 bishop g7 knight g e2 e6 castles knight g e7 and now spasky throws an unusual move at the time, which is Bishop G5. Okay. And what this does is temporarily, of course, pins the knight. And it prepares Queen D2. Alright, similar to uh, Bishop G5 knight off lines. Where you have the choice of playing Bishop G5 or Bishop E3. And then the queen still goes to D2 uh, anyway. Okay. So, uh, what's interesting about this move is it just, it, it does, it's a provocative move because black has to figure out, okay, how should I deal with this? You know, should I just move the queen out of the pen, right? After all, this pawn is now vulnerable. Should I, you know, move the queen uh, out of the way? Should I play h6? All right. So, do you address that bishop? On g5 or you just continue to develop your pieces all right so kinderman in this game played the move h6 bishop e3 again with d4 threatened knight d4 is a normal policy and now rook b1 okay now um now black has to think about the early pawn advance on the um queen side from white notice that in the other variations where this knight is say on h3 or after f4 has been played the knight is on f3 this knight will be vulnerable after a move like b4 because the other knight wouldn't be there to protect it so with the knight coming to uh e2 that adds a extra a uh, weapon for white is in that he can attack uh, earlier on the uh, queen side due to the fact that this knight is protected uh, on c3 by the knight on e2 so that's just a uh, you know an extra a tool in the toolbox so to speak right and it shows the uh, versatility of the opening and of course instead of rook b1 the typical queen d2 can be played with the pressure on this pawn and also uh, preventing castling and in that plan usually moves like bishop d7 bishop to c6 and queen d7 you know usually is is what a uh, black will play there again in the closed systems you have more time to you know do all of these maneuvers in our game rook b8 was played in b4 b6 b takes and d takes of course not b takes because the rook 
will be snatched up quickly and a4 okay and you can see again black is white is just not uh, attacking on the king side but in this game he decides to uh, attack black on the queen side of the board natural move castles all right And now knight b5. Knight takes b5. I do not like this move right here. A takes b5 because now black is left with some more weakness on the queen side. B takes. Bishop takes a6 and now queen d2. And we can see the benefits of provoking that move. Alright. And again, this is the type of stuff I'm talking about that you can outplay your opponents. Right, black doesn't have like major problems in the position, but there's enough for uh, white to get excited about and bite on. Right, he has the B pawn. Right, he has the H pawn. Right to attack. You know, there's some slight imbalances in the position where a patient and strong player can gradually improve the uh, improve the position. Now, after queen d2, attacking that pawn, king h7, king h7 was played, and now h4. Now, <laughs> notice the switch. And we're on the other side, back on the king side attacking. Okay. Knight c6. F4. Knight to d4. Knight takes d4. C takes d4. And bishop f2. H5. And now e5. And what this does is it increases the pressure here because this bishop is now cut off. All right. So F6. And of course the compromise is made and now you have a backward pawn here. E takes. Queen takes. And you see the gradual breakdown. Of the black position occurring. Right? Move by move. So queen f5, queen e2 now. Queen c5. c4 exploiting the, the pin here. Rook f8 protecting this pawn. And now bishop e4. Rook f8. And now rook b2. Okay, and what the idea behind this move is to play rook a1. Right, challenging this bishop. And then if bishop b7, rook b5, queen d6, and then exploit this situation by playing rook to h5. When this couldn't, when this pawn can't capture. So after rook f8 and rook b2, b5 is played, rook a1, and now bishop c8, and now bishop e1. Right, he's just um, putting the bishop in a more aggressive stance here okay so at this at this point right after only 30 moves in in base you know with with some seemingly innocuous maneuvering uh, black is pretty much busted okay 
because the threat of bishop b4 right which wins the exchange as you can see by the arrows right and the other threat can you see it is basically pushing the, the push the queen away from protecting from this threat right here all right so these you know these are just strong you know just strong consistent moves being made in the position just gradually improving this is why black has to play rook f5 right c takes bishop b7 bishop b4 queen to c8 and now spassky takes the exchange Bishop d6, rook a8, rook e1, queen c3. The rest requires little comment because, again, black is um, lost here. And you can see just the common sense moves that uh, Spassky just makes to improve his position. Of course, you know, there's some desperate uh, tactics here. Spassky just deals with this. In the economical matter, right? Just getting rid, of, just getting rid of the uh, bishop, okay? And he gets back to exchange because he has a clear pass B pawn that he he knows he can rely on at the end of the day. Queen takes. Oh, they just rook B one. Queen D five. Queen G two. Queen to G eight. There goes the pawn, b6, rook a2, a little last ditch effort, and then rook b2, and then um, black resign there. Alright, there's, uh, you know, there's nothing that uh, black can really do. So, what to take out of that game? Again, it's this move of Spassky's, bishop g5, which is playable and provocative. Um, in the next game, we're going to look at... Um, another game where in this uh, instead of playing Bishop G five, Black just uh, excuse me, White just plays Bishop E three. Uh, Bishop G five, uh, I like this move again because you know it makes it makes Black think. Here he decided to go with H six as a solution, and you can see later on it kind of came back to haunt him a little bit as he you know weakened his king size somewhat. And also we learned the um about the flexibility of this system where whereby with the knight on e2 it allowed black the to be able to play the excuse me allowed white to be able to play the plan of rook b1 and b4 without um worrying about the protection of the knight on c3 so that's it for this game uh we'll be looking at uh some more games in this line uh because it is a a, a popular line and uh Again, as always, check the entire playlist if you're interested in playing this line. Comment, suggestions are welcome. And uh, check the links links below. There's books, DVDs on this particular opening system. Okay? And uh, please donate if, if you can spare. I appreciate it very much. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening and see you on the next video.